Hi, I'm Father Thaddeus Langton with the 90 Days for the Souls in Purgatory. Today is day 84. Today we pray for those who did not seek indulgences, either for themselves or for the holy souls. And we turn to paragraphs 1471 and 1472 of the Catechism. The doctrine and practice of indulgences in the Church are closely linked to the effects of the sacrament of penance. An indulgence is a remission before God of the temporal punishment due to sins whose guilt has already been forgiven, which the Christian faithful, who is duly disposed, gains under certain prescribed conditions through the action of the Church, which, as the minister of redemption, dispenses and applies with authority the treasury the satisfaction of Christ and the saints. An indulgence is partial or plenary according as it removes either part or all of the temporal punishment due to sin. The faithful can gain indulgences for themselves or apply them to the dead. 1472. To understand the doctrine and practice of the church, it is necessary to understand that sin has a double consequence. Grave sin deprives us of communion with God and therefore makes us incapable of eternal life, the privation of which is called the eternal punishment of sin. On the other hand, every sin, even venial, entails an unhealthy attachment to creatures, which must be purified either here on earth or after death in the state of purgatory. This purification frees one from what is called the temporal punishment of sin. These two punishments must not be conceived of as a kind of vengeance inflicted by God from without, but as following from the very nature of sin. A conversion which proceeds from a fervent charity can attain the complete purification of the sinner in such a way that no punishment would remain. I hinted at this in the episode yesterday, that the window that is broken not only requires the forgiveness of the owner, but also that we work to actually repair the window. That's the double consequence here. And the church provides indulgences to take care of the temporal punishment. That is, what is necessary to make up for the temporal effects of sin, of what happens here in this world because of my sin, not just the eternal effects. And the Catechism has made clear that we can gain indulgences either for ourselves or for the dead. And it's not selfish to look for indulgences for oneself. The Lord has given them to us, and there is a proper self-care. We should care about our eternal salvation, and we should care also about providing for ourselves what is necessary to be able to get to heaven as soon as possible. But we can also apply them for the dead. And this is where we pray in a special way for those who neglected to pray for the souls in purgatory, neglected to find the ways that indulgences can be obtained, which are pretty simple. One can spend half an hour before the Blessed Sacrament, read scripture for half an hour, make the Stations of the Cross, pray the Rosary with all the members of the family, just to name a few examples that gain us plenary indulgences. In addition, there's the plenary indulgence associated with the Divine Mercy Sunday. And there's special indulgences associated with the Jubilee year, especially the one coming up, the Jubilee of Hope. So the Church offers plenty of opportunities, which is why it really could be neglect and even sinful if we just don't take advantage of these great graces that the Father desires to pour forth upon us. It requires of us due disposition, to be certain, but that is for our own conversion, because there's no way to be forgiven the temporal effect of sin if we're not actually sorry for sin in the first place. So, pray with me today, a Divine Mercy Chaplet or a Chaplet of the Ten Virtues, for those who failed to seek indulgences, either for themselves or for the holy souls. May the Virgin Mary's Immaculate Conception be our salvation and our protection. Saint Stanislaus Pauczynski, pray for us and for the souls in purgatory.